Good afternoon, Rick Collin here with Tech Out. I've had a lot of requests on people wanting to see how to sync and restore your iPhone when you are on the iO or when you're on the Mac OS 10.15 beta or OS X Cat or sorry, Mac OS Catalina. Um, that does remove iTunes. There is no more iTunes. So the way you sync your iPhone is pretty much the same as if you had iTunes, but you're going to be doing it in Finder. So you're going to want to plug in your uh, plug in your iPhone with a lightning cable to USB, just like as you would before. Um, so once that is plugged in, just head up here to Finder, and then on the side here under Locations, you will see your device. So in my case, it is my iPhone. I'm going to get rid of that window right there. Let's see, we want to just zoom that window in real quick. Alright, so you can see here, this looks like the device window when you would have it up in iTunes, you would pull this up. So you've got your general here, we're on iOS 13 as you can see, you've got your backup, your backup and restore, um, your options. Um, so you can have it show this iPhone when on Wi-Fi, so you can have it show up on here when it's on Wi-Fi if you want to sync it over Wi-Fi, kind of like the iTunes uh, Wi-Fi sync. That is still a thing. We'll go ahead and turn that on anyway, um, just because. But anyway, so if you want to restore your iPhone to iOS 13 or restore your iPhone to any version of iOS that is supported, all you have to do is hold down option and click restore iPhone. It's going to tell you find my iPhone has to be turned off before it, uh, it can be restored. I'm not going to turn that off. If it was off, you would get your pop-up here, um, pretty much another finder window with your locations. All you have to do is choose your IPSW file download, click restore. It's going to erase your iPhone, restore the software, and you're going to be back up and running. So that's all you have to do. If you want to back it up, you can back it up down here. You can back it up to iCloud or the computer, and then you are good to go. So that's how you install iOS 13, or you can do a restore to iOS uh, 12.13.1 if you need to, or the latest version of iOS if you're watching this later on. This has been Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.